As we uh, continue to talk about the tentative deal reached on the budget, school districts all across the state are watching very, very closely. This budget limbo has really been painful for schools. So joining me now for some more perspective is Bob Reiter, Executive Director, Connecticut Association of Boards of Education. Bob, thanks so much for being here today. My pleasure. Here's my first question to you. What is the budget delay doing to education budgets, staffing, and what's it doing to the kids? It's It's been very, very difficult for our members school boards, teachers, principals, superintendents, everybody has been suffering with this. What, what is really happening is that we're in a bit of a crisis. Districts are not sure exactly how they should proceed, and they're not getting any help from the state at this point, and it's very unfair. Um, districts are beginning to lay off. Uh, layoff teachers. We know that 20 pink slips are going out of plain, ta uh, plain, uh, plain field uh, by Friday. Other districts are hurting too. We see changes in things like professional development. It's not going on as much. People are afraid to spend money. We have a con uh, convention uh, every year. We know our even. Our number of people who come is down by a third. These have all kinds of ripple effects across the whole economy, and it's just not good. What really happened for students, as you asked, is, well, at least for now, everybody is professional. The kids shouldn't be affected right now in the classroom. But over time, when they lose teachers who have been there since the beginning of the year, and we don't have the support services we need to keep kids from um, falling through the cracks, things will just keep getting worse and worse. This is a <clears throat> Excuse me. This is a crisis, and we need to solve it as soon as possible. It sounds like districts are trying to dial back the spending, but you don't want them to get to the point where they're cutting the really good essential stuff. What is your advice to cash-strapped districts? Cash-strapped districts just, just sort of have to wait and see what kind of an agreement they can make with their town to help them out. Mm -hmm. um, we see this all across the, the state. It's become very, very difficult. Towns are not sure what they're going to get either. You can't expect towns who have really had so much uh, money that they need, the resources they need from the state to then get just a pittance or nothing at all. What do you say to those who say, listen, our state is in the red and we've got to cut somewhere? Well, certainly we don't think education is the place to cut. Education is critical not only for now, but it, for the future and for all the different things we want for our kids um, as they head into a very competitive world. In addition, the economy, if we're ever going to get Connecticut back to where it needs to be, we need well-educated students who really understand the world around them, the science, the technology, the math, uh, the history. Uh, the geography, they need to know all these things if they're going to compete. We know that Social Security, uh, there used to be many people working for each person on Social Security. Now we're down to like three or four. Those people better be very well educated if they're going to help pay for everybody's Social Security in the future. Well, late breaking details tonight that lawmakers are at the state capitol uh, just within the last hour, hammering out a budget. It sounds like they're going to put something up for a vote. Are you hopeful? How do you feel? Well, we're always hopeful, but we can't wait any longer. It's, it's, we're hopeful, then the governor is a little more cynical. I listen to him. I watch the other, the legislative leaders. We need to get something done as fast as possible. This is just creating such anxiety and such stress in a, in a world of education where you really don't want that kind of stress, because sooner or later, it comes down to the students. On pins and needles. All right, Bob, Absolutely. thank you so much for your insight. Anytime, we really appreciate Audrey. it. Thank you.